Okay, today is January 3rd, 2001. It is a Wednesday. I'm outside of my, outside of a Sam's Club. Uh, dropping off these posters um, to the manager. I had the posters in there before, and the, um, somehow I gave, gave the posters to her. They never got posted. She didn't know where they were, so she said, bring, a, bring another one. So I got two this time. What I'm proposing to her um, is that we make a video where each each employee 11 uh, 10 employees each one takes a a uh, a lesson from the uh from the poster one of the uh, Sam Walton's 10 rules of his success and goes ahead and we do a video and throughout the store and then we'll see um share it with Walmart and then see what happens so it's just an idea I'm gonna pitch it to her uh, what else has been going on? I had, um, I've never mentioned before, I reached out to the Richardson group a long time ago about, um, they got in, had some issue with their owner slash founder, said some derogatory, derogatory things in a, in a, in a, um, in a closed meeting, in an internal meeting, uh, something about motel, one of their commercials was too black and it would offend <laughs> white supremacists, from what I understand, I might be misquoting it, but either way it got out. Um, I'm not here to judge anyone, you know, I don't know what the man's heart was, where he came from, but he cost his company a lot of business, some of their biggest, couple of their biggest, um, couple of their biggest clients, um, jump ship, so they lost 40%, they're, uh, the largest, uh, um, independent ad agency in the country, so it was a pretty big hit, so I sent him an email, I, I can't remember what I, what I put in there, just something in there, um, you know, not nothing negative to write or write. I, I, I need to look at the email because it's been so long. But they actually, <clears throat> someone wrote back. We corresponded for a little bit, then I just left it at, you know, and said, you know, whatever. I just gave him some, what my thoughts were. And I heard back from him a couple of days ago. And the guy says, hey, we, we're going to do something for Black History Month. We're doing some uh, videos. We want to feature some businesses. And they uh, they reached out to me. And I was like, oh, really? Wow, okay. You know, because I've known about this ad agency for a while, and I actually talked to a guy who who uh, I thought worked there, but he was working for their competitor, and I said, hey, what do you think the chances of me getting a commercial? He's like, uh, zero chance. They they charge an incredible amount of money. I was like, oh, okay. So here's my opportunity. Um, so we did a Zoom call yesterday. I told him about my um, my business, and after the call, I was like, you know what? I'm <laughs> probably not what they're looking for because I'm so small. And I told the guy, you know, I was like, hey, I appreciate it, you know, but if you guys want to go another direction, I don't understand. He's like, no, you sent me an email back, said, no, we still want to do something with you, want to do it. I'm like, yeah, I want to do it. Um, so I got to figure out, so I'm going to let them, whatever they want to do, I'll, I'll play along. Uh, once a lifetime opportunity, um, you know, because they do big ads for, for major corporations. And here I am getting an opportunity to do something with them. So it's just, you know, God's favor, God's blessing me. Alright, uh, so I'm going to go drop these posters off. Um, I'm going to try to go up to the TCU tomorrow to drop off some uh, some frogs. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about that later, about the diversity thing. Alright, I'm going to go drop these off. And while I'm inside of town, I'm going to run some errands with my mom. And then uh, get ready for my, my trip to TCU tomorrow. Alright, I'm out. <clears throat>